figured I need to explain this. We're taking an extension cord, and I got this from the Dollar Tree. Honestly, all of my materials are from the Dollar Tree. This was one of those uh, magnetic, magnetic spice containers. This is it unsprayed. I'm using this as the base of my light fixture. I just spray painted it, so uh, yeah, probably should have worn gloves, but I didn't. Uh, this is a drill bit that we're going to be using to make a hole in the base so that this wire can come through it. Now, it's important if you want to have matching pendants um, to try to get them around the same length. I did not measure my other one, but I'm going to go a little bit longer, better safe, longer than too short because you can always shove it up into the box, okay? So uh, we're going to take this cord and we cut it about a foot long because the ceilings are not very tall in the uh, camper, of course. So uh, we got still plenty to make another one of the extension cord. With um, this wire, you basically just need to separate it here. I have a knife, but I didn't bring it. So you can also use your wire strippers to start that division there, cutting it right there. There we go. Once you have that, then you can peel it apart. And that's it. With this lamp wire, it doesn't too much matter which side is the neutral of the feed. Well, when it comes to wearing the light itself, it'll matter. Not, not really. Okay, so you see you scan it out with your handy dandy wire strippers. I like to pre twist them. Sometimes they're going stranded to solid. So there we go. That's the end that's going to be going up into the light. So we need it to come out of this, which is the base of our mason jar fixture, and come into the top of this. So basically, we need two holes, okay? got my cordless drill here. I recommend you have one too. There are other ways to make a hole in it, but I like this is the, the fastest. And I like it fast. So we're going to try to find the center. Great. And right there. It doesn't have to be exact really when it's in the ceiling that I'll notice. But if you want to be more precise, you can totally measure it off. That is fine. I'm eyeballing it. Careful not to put too much pressure so you don't go to the table. Whoa, like I did. Okay, so got one of the holes. One of the reasons why I like the magnetic part is that um, it also serves as like a bit of a bushing for your wire when it's going through. So that's my thing. You might want to test the hole, make sure your wire can come through easily, and it can in my case. There we go, so that's the base of the light fixture, right? Or you can have this one. <laughs> go ahead and stick it up there since it'll already be scanned out and it'll be easier to make the connections. Okay, so then we have this other end that we also need to fix, but let's go ahead and drill our other hole in the top of the mason jar that I painted. Okay. Once again, ideally, you want to not poke a hole in your table. Try to find the center of your mason jar lid. A little bit off. Got it. <laughs> okay. So be careful with your drill bit. Uh, yeah. I wasn't the most careful with that, sorry about that. Um, it might be good to wear gloves, which I haven't in this whole procedure, but highly recommended. Now you got your hole in the top of the mason jar. And not too worried, if I waited longer for my paint to dry, that probably wouldn't have been the worst plan, honestly. Then um, it wouldn't be chipping now. But anyway, you can always repaint it, that's how I feel about spray paint, it's not that serious. So. This is going to go through, and now you see the way the fixture is shaping up, right? So now you're going to separate this wire here. It's a little notch. And once you get it started, it's really not hard at all to separate it. There you go. So now you have your two hour wire separated. We're gonna skin them out again. 
Actually, in this case, because of the type of socket that I got, you don't need to. Ah, let me show you this. We're gonna take off this clamp, which I do like depending on the type of fixture you're trying to make, but in this case, we don't need it. This is a screw-on base. I really like this because it makes sure that your conductors don't ever come in contact with the top of the metal lid, which could be potentially dangerous. So this way, I think it's a lot safer in a lot of ways. So the way this goes in is the way you have it skin out already separated. You're gonna put the two wires on top of where it screws in. Just that simple. You see the two notches it fits into? It's gonna go right in there. Right, okay. You can find all these pieces at uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, whichever one you prefer. Honestly, um, I shop around to see what maybe new they have. These things are no more than 150. Now, with the wire sticking out here, I'm actually going to back it up a little bit because I don't. I want to make sure, like I said, it doesn't come in contact with anything that could be potentially conductive. So I'm going to back it down, just as long as it is coming in contact with the two tabs that were coming up. You see those? The pointy tabs. That's what's going to stab through it and make your connection. So I'd have it back as far as I could if I were you. There we go. Okay. Now that as far back as you can but still making the connection but not sticking out the other end, you're going to tighten it up. Hard to kind of hold it in place. It's not cool. Work with me. Come on now. All right. Hold down a bit and then start the screwing device and back it in all the way. Okay. You want to make sure it's good and tight because that's just going to make your connection once again. There we go. So. You see now, the wires are not sticking out the other end. I feel like that's a lot safer. This is where your light bulb's gonna go. All right. And you will need one of those. Why not? 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 Why not?